isn't it? Doesn't he live around the corner, right? Yeah. What? I said, Dano only lives around the corner, isn't it? Or yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global, down at the O2 Arena for Dubois Gorman. Look what I've bumped into. You see it. <laughs> Dream it, believe it, we're coming. <laughs> we're How have here. your travels been, uh, Tunde? Well, I've just got off the plane from Gatwick. Um, and straight here. It's 24-7, 365, we live boxing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised you come straight from the airport. Frank's got a really good car tonight. Um, yes. Yeah. You excited about it? Uh, definitely, I mean, I'm... Um, Obviously, I've known Daniel since he's been a young boy. Still a young boy now. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be a good fight between uh, himself and Nathan. Another young fighter. And I'm looking forward to it. Mm. All the stars out here tonight for the show is Tyson Fury. There's only one star, it's me. <laughs> exactly. I know Tyson's a no, bit of a star. No, no? About, don't worry about the rest of them. <laughs> Not even Frank Bruno? No, 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 me. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I pulled you up from all them <laughs> exactly. lot. Exactly, that's what you Yeah, yeah. And nah, yeah. star studied event, and uh, you, you would expect that. You know, um, British heavyweight title fight. You know, the big, when the big boys are out, you know, boxing gets excited, and um, it's it, it's wonderful to see so many, you know, known faces uh, in London, because London's where it's at. But on August 24th, it's not going to be uh, in London. It's going to be, let me get this right, is it Cheblinsk? Is that how you say uh, it? Anthony's been cussing me, I've been saying it wrong. Um, how have you been saying <laughs> Binsk. <laughs> it don't matter. Right, it's, it's somewhere a, in Russia, isn't it? It's somewhere in Russia. And um, we're excited. Mm, absolutely, it became official last night. Yes. Obviously, it was touted for June. Um, yes. What were the problems today? What was going on? Well, it's boxing. You know, the main thing is, for myself and Anthony, I've always maintained that we're professionals and that we just have to deal with things that we're in control of. And uh, that's our training regime um, and that's our ded dedication to the sport and the craft. And for myself and Anthony, we've just been working like, like normal. The stuff that happens outside of the ring, you know, Frank, George Warren, uh, our lawyers, they deal with that. You know, we got to stay focused. Everyone's got their job to do, and uh, yeah, it is what it is. Normally, when we have a, a kind of delay like that, and it's a huge delay, it's to do with the money with big fights. But it seems like it perhaps wasn't, and you were very vocal about. Who said that? I'm not sure. I'm just speculating <laughs> off your Twitter because you were very vocal about uh, there was no VADA testing for that fight. Yes. Now that is obviously a huge problem. Going exactly. someone's backyard, etc., fighting for a world title putting your life at stake. Um, so, what's the situation with that now? Well, that was a problem uh, which has been resolved. Both fighters are now officially signed up to VADA testing. Uh, and that's how it should be. You know, as you quite rightly said, you know, these fighters, they risk everything. They put everything on the line. And I think that it's only proper that athletes should be clean, not only in boxing, but every sport. And so, Mr. Kovalev and uh, Mr. Yard have both signed up and it's good. The fight's on, we're ready to go. Glad to hear that, because when I saw the announcement yesterday, so I wasn't still sure whether VADA testing was going to be in the thing. Yeah. So now it's all clear, both fighters are going to be VADA tested. I think VADA actually tweeted it and put it on their, all their social medias. Um, you know, well done to Anthony Yard, well done to Sergei Kovalev for uh, starting um, the VADA testing. So yes, VADA's made it known to the public and um, that's one thing out of the way. Good. Um, <coughs> obviously there was rumours going around that Kovala was going to jump in the ring with Canelo. Um, when those rumours were floating about, were you still 100% confident that your man, Anthony Yard and Kovalev would still get Sticks it on? Sticks and stones. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks and stones. Hi there, Nan. What's going on? <laughs> How was that? Yeah, um Rumours. <laughs> That's exactly what they are. You know, if you notice that this time I stayed very quiet. Um uh, first time I was talking a lot, which is kinda uncharacteristic for me. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but this time around I decided to stay quiet and you know it's exciting, it built excitement, it it made a lot of people take notice on the fight really I knew there was a contract that was already signed and I just sat back and just let everybody 
speculate um, and, and, and say what they got to say. But listen, let's see what happens after this fight. Because <laughs> mm. it won't be covered if fighting Canelo. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's interesting you said that. Um you know, if Kovalev is being linked with a, a Canelo fight, if Yard goes and, and beats Kovalev no, in the 24... there's no if. In I'm your even, opinion. I'm even telling you people, <laughs> there ain't no if. I'm going to keep it neutral, Listen, Tunde. Langu la language is powerful. <laughs> you don't tell Tunde Ajay if. We don't deal with ifs. It but is. Let me change it properly then. <laughs> in your opinion, when... It's not my opinion, <laughs> it's facts. <laughs> Opinions, everybody has them. Everybody has them. But fact is fact. We're 18 and 0, 17 KOs, everybody's touched the floor, including the one that didn't, the one that lasted. He got dropped twice. It's a KO. As I always say, it don't matter if it's in Peckham, Brixton, Dallas, Chelebrinks, <laughs> Hollywood, same result, mm. KO. Mm. Off camera I can speak like that, but on camera I've got to keep it neutral, man. <laughs> I've got to keep it neutral. But okay, if he does it, no, <laughs> it's not if. I keep telling you. Listen. All right, when, man, when he does no, it. See when, them, he, when Yard no, does it. When those... Aha, uh -huh, now we're talking. When Anthony Yard does when it. When AY turns up, shows up and blows up, continue. Are you going to be asking for that Canelo fight? We just let things take their natural course. We've done that from the beginning of our career. We haven't called out no one. You, you know, That's one thing you know about you don't, yeah. me and Anthony. We don't call out people because... We believe in destiny. We believe that things happen for a reason. And um, when the fights are signed, sold and delivered, lions in the camp. <laughs> you know what it is. Mm. Anyways, the Canelo talk can be saved for after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't focus on that. We focus on one thing at a time. And that's my advice to anybody. If you... Lions in the camp! Lions! Oh, Sam Jones! Speak my life, Sam. <laughs> They're all saying it, Ooms. Mine's back you. in the camp. It's, it's, everyone's saying it, because they know where it is. They know when we go into the... Uh, the it's not even his backyard. <laughs> it's not his backyard, because he's not... He's, in, he's been in America. He's America. That's a good point, he's, So I don't know why people talking like it's his backyard. How can it be his backyard? He's him and his family live in America. That's like me saying... <laughs> I, I better be careful about what I say here, but... <laughs> you know... I think it was Paul Young said, wherever I lay my hat, that's my home. See, that's a bit of musical knowledge for you. So he's home is America then. Go and Google him, Paul <laughs> Young, brilliant singer. Wherever I lay my hat, that's my home. So he's in America 99% of the time. He's going to Russia for his retirement fight. <laughs> and that's what it's gonna be. Turn up show. Is he getting crushed? Crushums. <laughs> That's what we call it. For those of us who go KFC. <laughs> I know what you're on about. Oreo Crushums. You, know, Come you on. know about Oreo Crushums. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> um, listen, man, he's a fighter. Well, you know, you have to respect a man that's been at the top of the game. You know, on a real, he's been at the top of the game for a long time. This is not a washed up fighter. Like some things I've heard. This is not a guy that. Uh, this is a serious athlete. You know, uh, I believe couple of his ex-military, ex-army, he was in the army or, you know, the boxing army. Uh, so a very disciplined guy. And um, you don't really expect nothing less for someone who's reigned for so long. But it's a new day. It's a new dawn. Hmm. It's a new life for AY and TA. And then August the 24th, Lions in the camp. Absolutely. Well, we better start working on our visas. Have you started that process? <laughs> well, we're waiting for. We don't want to happen. We don't want the same thing to happen like last time, where they didn't even send the the letters from the ministry. Um, it's all under control. Uh, we'll get the letters from the ministry, and uh, we'll go and repeat the same process which we did a few weeks ago. Um, go to the embassy. It's all done. We can't wait for it. Uh, I'll see you out there if I don't see you before. Yes. And uh, listen, best of luck with Anthony in preparation. Thank you very much. Uma. And uh, yeah, all May the best. I just say, you're doing a fantastic job as usual. You're putting all these seasoned vets to shame. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're young. It's what I say. When you got a man, when you got someone who's young and hungry, 
it's very, it's a very difficult it's very difficult to beat them because you know they <laughs> ah, here we go another warrior man, listen man. it all started at the age of when they tell him shot. tell him let me, hold on wait wait, wait. <laughs> let me just tell you this man here is responsible for no, myself and Anthony no 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 we've yeah. got to keep that real he's responsible because I went to him I said Rob listen I've got this kid he's a good kid you know I've, I've found the office nobody's answering the calls let's go and in, and in Robert's words he went fuck I fucking saw that I don't worry about that <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah. he sorted it out that, listen yeah. so you know Rob eternally that felt. Eter Rob, eternally grateful is he getting crushed of course he is. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Listen, man, you got. You, take it, yeah, take it. Nah, you got to keep it with it. I mean, on the rule, Robert Warren was the one who, he, you know, he started this. You know, um, I met him in a coffee shop in. What a story, eh? I met him in a coffee shop in Angel. Spoke to him, told him about Anthony. Said, leave with me. I was up in the office literally the next week, and uh, here we are today. Dream it, believe it. Become it. <laughs> Sunday, appreciate yes, the time as always. Good Top man, thank yeah. you. Hey, Chris! Hey.